NBC 5 News at 11 starts now. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Liz Streppa. Tomorrow morning, voters across the state will be able to head to the polls and decide who will represent their party on the November ballot. We are watching several big races, including the race for the U.S. House, U.S. Senate, the governor and lieutenant governor. Many towns and cities will also be voting for state representatives and senators. NBC 5's Tyler Bronski joins us now live from Williston's polling location at the Vermont National Guard Armory. Tyler, we are just hours away from those polls opening. Yeah, Liz, well, it's definitely the calm before the storm right now, but starting at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, these doors behind me will be open for voters to make their candidate selections for those different races you just mentioned. In their final push to voters, state candidates getting their face out one more time Thank you. before Vermonters cast their ballots. While some have taken advantage of voting early, Tuesday will get people who want to go to the polls in person the opportunity to do so. Not sure what the primaries are, think of the process similar to qualifying for the Olympics. The primary is very much like the, the prelims and we are deciding uh, as Vermonters who will be on our November ballot. The primaries are mainly focused on the government races happening in the state. It is a statewide primary, so there's two things to do with Washington, like I said, it's the um, Senate and rep to Congress. But besides that, these are state races. So if you're really excited about VP and presidential, that's November. Williston Town Clerk Sarah Mason says she wouldn't be surprised if upwards of 1,800 people show up to the town's polling site at the Vermont National Guard Armory. When voters do arrive, they'll be handed three ballots at once, one Republican, one Democratic, and one Progressive ballot. You pick one, but you do have to discard your other two here before you leave. Mason wants people to go in with the mindset that they're essentially voting for a party. This is where it gets really tricky for some people. I love Phil Scott, I want to vote for him. I love Bernie Sanders, I want to vote for him. That's two different parties, and so you have to really pick. Voters will want to keep that in mind when deciding which candidates they really want to support. But showing up to the polls in the first place is the best way to get your voice heard. If you want to decide who's going to be on the November ballot, be sure to get out and vote. For a list of all the polling sites across the state, we have that information on our website, mynbc5.com. Live from Williston, Tyler Bronski, NBC5 News. Tyler, thanks. Looking